Is it Lego or Lego? I'll give you my answer to that right now. It doesn't matter. Hey, my name's Javo. Welcome to Brickzar. You're home for Lego. <laughs> That's the way I say it. And I did get the comment because apparently people pronounce that word L-E-G-O differently in different countries. And that's okay. People can say it however they want to. So it's a good dogu said, you know, he said, which is it? And it's funny, I, I tickled myself. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I always make myself laugh for stuff that's probably not even funny. But I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if he's in the UK. And I went to his channel and he is in the UK. Because in the UK, there are a lot of words in the English language that are pronounced differently than what they are pronounced over here in the United States. And I live in the southern United States, and sometimes we don't even say things right. So, um, and we don't care. But, <laughs> you know, when I was in shul, I didn't pay much attention. So, I don't worry about the pronunciation. So, we're going to be doing a haul in this video. I've got a couple of packages from... Bricklink, and we're going to answer some questions from viewers, also known as Bricks Are Answer Thingy. So let's get to the questions uh, that we got. We got a couple of them, and one is from Calitaro Lego It Plus, who says, "Hey Jabo, you know what? I have the same organization as you before you start your organization, huh? Meaning he's not organized like I wasn't, or I'm still still not." He said, "Bat." Hashtag BAT. He says, what can I do? My room is, it's a patchwork of Lego theme and it's small, like three meters by four meters. Have you an ideal for my organization? Thanks in advance for your response. So, uh, metric system. I recommend switching to the English system, which is not used in England. It's used in the United States because we're the only country in the world that still doesn't use the metric system regularly. Uh, if you convert your room, your three meter by four meter room to English system, it sounds bigger. It'll be like almost 10 feet by 13 or 14 feet. And that's a lot bigger. So do that. And just when you're dealing with that amount of space, you got to pretty much decide what you want to keep and not get because it is limited. And as someone who had a one bedroom my whole life and to actually half of my life now till I was about 26 and I had a comic book collection and a Lego collection and I was trying to keep all this in a space I can understand the frustration in trying to manage that space but yeah convert to English system and it'll sound bigger next question is from Biggins D1 <laughs> oh I guess this is a UK themed episode here he says, I'm enjoying your YouTube's auto subtitles. Oh, this isn't a question. <laughs> he says, I'm enjoying that YouTube's auto subtitles have made the decision to change your channel's name from Brickzar to Brexit. <laughs> you know, like the Britain leaving the European Union. He says, great video, but not nearly enough Boris Johnson talk for my liking. <laughs> it is funny seeing what the auto captions do, but um, I will say strongly that I will not be held accountable for what the auto captions uh, says. So, uh, yeah, don't use that in a video or you might make me mad. All right, so the next one. Oh, wait, this is a, I got an eBay auction that somebody sent me. It's their eBay auction. And it's the Vintage Lego 435 Tipper Truck Parts Build Your Tipper Truck Army. So I, I, I we're well on the way to raising the price of the set 435 Tipper Truck. And then from Brian's Brick Barn, oh, this is more of like of a normal question. He says, I got a store, uh, he's got a store, a Bricklink store, and he forgot one important element, bubble mailers. What brand and size would you recommend and the best place to purchase? They seem expensive at the big box stores. So if you're serious about selling, don't go to Walmart or any place like that to get the bubble mailers. That's, I would recommend getting the free free priority mail bubble mailers <clears throat> and that's for anything over 13 ounces so that's going to be for uh, you know things a lot of things will be over 13 ounces so get the free bubble mailers from the post office and go to ebay and there's thousands of 
seems like auctions for bubble mailers or poly mailers or anything that's got bubble wrap there's a lot of them and the size maybe like eight and a half by eleven and like six by nine those two sizes will cover most orders somewhere around that range um, so yeah go to go to ebay you can buy them in lots of a hundred five hundred a thousand <laughs> And it's a lot cheaper. So you can go buy, you know, if you want to experiment, go buy some that are like 100. You'll pay a little more with the shipping than you would if you bought like 500 of them. But yeah, that's what I would recommend. So this seller, this is uh, from BD Bricks in Thailand, the country of Thailand. And so he puts it in these plastic mailers and then he uses bubble wrap to wrap it. And there's other... Bricklink sellers I have seen that do that. They'll get the, the cheap. Uh, these are pretty durable, but they're not padded. These thin um, plastic, not even plastic, poly, ma poly mailers. And then they use bubble wrap. Uh, they said that's cheaper than actually buying poly mailers. But this, this is uh, from DD Bricks in Thailand. And then we got another one here from, oh, I think this is Ohio Bricks. Uh, so we're going to see what they sent me there. And my shirt today is the Creature from the Block Lagoon. And when I put this shirt on earlier, it's another orange. I got more orange shirts than I thought. So aren't you glad I found another orange shirt? But anyway, the, um, the this reminded me of one of my fears that I had no context to. I at, When I was little, like before... This is before I went to school. So I probably was like four or five. Uh, I remember going to Hilton Head. Oh, I, should, I wish I'd gotten the video of that. So we, we actually got some family film. Maybe maybe I'll retell the story later. But uh, when I was a little boy, going to Hilton Head uh, on a trip with my mother and my father and my sister. I don't know how only my sister and I got to go. I think the other kids were in school. But... Uh, I had heard of the creature, the creature from the Black Lagoon, like, I can't even say it now, the creature from the Black Lagoon, Crab Rangoons. Anyway, I was scared of it, and I had seen pictures of it. I had never seen the movie, which I, I imagine is pretty cheesy, and I still haven't seen it. <laughs> Maybe subconsciously I'm actually scared of it, but I was scared of that, and I didn't know what a lagoon was. I think I thought it had something to do with water. And I would remember when we go around different places in Hilton Head, which if you don't know, Hilton Head is like on the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean side of the United States and South Carolina. And I was like, is that a lagoon? <laughs> and then is, is the creature going to come out of that lagoon? I, d I don't know. Um, I, everything I learned about lagoons is from Gilligan's Island. So and I still don't know what a lagoon is. Uh, but yeah, this is the creature from the Black Lagoon. It was a Brick Builders Club t-shirt. Now let's get to the uh, packages that we got in the mail. Let's start with this one from Ohio Bricks. What do we got? Ah, a very simple order. I think there was only two different items, um, two different lots of items. We got the headlight bricks for the hashtag Tipper, tipper Truck Army. Oh look, more headlight bricks. And look at that, more tippers. Um, there we go. So that was from Ohio Bricks. And then this is from Didi Bricks in Thailand. Placed another order. See, and because I've bought from them before, I knew that that's how he packs them, uh, bubble wrap. And because uh, it's cheaper than a box, and then it's usually sturdy enough, but uh, the DHL this time, they were kind of dumb. Um, they kept trying to go to the post office, which is where I normally get stuff, and they were able to successfully deliver to the post office before when I've ordered from DD Bricks, but this time they seemed to not figure it out. Uh, so it, it took like five attempts to get them to just, just bring it to my house. So they finally, they did. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Here's me. Last time I ordered from it, it ended up coming in two bags. This managed to fit in just one bag this time. Ah, all right. I forgot about this. 
So I, I try to get to the free shipping amount. So I added a lot of things. And one of the things I added were the white 2x8s. These are for my blue train rails. I got a lot of blue rails. I just don't have a lot of the uh, what we call sleepers. And it doesn't matter that they're not vintage or waffle bottom. I just wanted a bunch of 2x8 white plates for that. So that will go with the train stuff. And then we got this big two gallon, what is this, a two gallon bag? Full of stuff. And we'll start with this stuff here. Oh yeah, he was messing one plate. Uh, he credited me. So I'm get, I've been getting the, uh, this is our favorite road theme, our road style, the gray with the yellow stripe and the green. I uh, got another one of those from him. And his inventory is constantly changing. So there was stuff in the store that I don't remember the last time I went. In fact, there's stuff now that I go, oh, I could order from him. All right, so this is all trans neon green and trans bright green parts. This is glow zone material. So I bought a bunch of that. More glow zone material. <laughs> a bunch of that. And then, oh look, there's some more glow zone. I got some of the glow zone chains. I still need to make that uh, 10 Segre D glow zone mock. And then these yellow parts, for the most part, are for. Um, I'm going to make one of the BMR cars. It's the uh, pulpwood type flat car, or whatever, bulkhead flat car. So that's what these are for. So I, I do have that as a on my wanted list. Uh, so these have come, so now I need to go mark. I usually don't mark them off on my wanted list until they come in case something happens and they don't actually come because I've done that before. I marked something off the wanted list and then for whatever reason I didn't get as much as I thought or something happened. But now this is for, most of these are for that. And then there's, this is a standard, this 2 by 2 tile with no things. And then most of these parts are for what am i building there's something i needed oh, the blue parts for and i can't remember what it was for oh the schmidt and company these are for schmidt and company and then also got parts i know these parts here are for or some of these are for the uh, i'm piecing together the set is it 358 the this the rocket the little rocket base the vintage rocket base and I dropped a couple of things on the floor here okay I got this I got two more German soccer players but no soccer ball yeah and then I got some magnets and then oh yeah one by one I got all the one by ones with solid studs that I could uh, that are round wow that haul went pretty quick went much to it so uh, mainly what did I go to the store for? Is to get parts for the um, the rocket. So this parts for the rocket. I got parts for a BMR flat car. No tipper truck parts this time because I bought them all last time. I got the t the rails for the blue rails. Yeah, it seems much smaller once I get this. Hmm. And then these guys. These guys are expensive. I'm trying to get all the German soccer players. Uh, I don't know why. And the magnets were expensive. These are like 2 or $3 a piece. They're getting very expensive. Uh, yeah, that is the haul. All right, so that's the uh, Chipper Truck Army container. Oh, these things are getting full. This is the Glow Zone building section. I probably need to take those out of the bag. See if they'll fit in there. Yeah, it's going to fit. Glow zone materials are all, are mostly in these containers. I need to organize it at some point. There's those road plates. So, of course, it doesn't have the base or the soccer ball. Do you even already have this guy? No. I'm going to put you. You don't fit in there now. I guess I have to put in one of these other ones. There we go. Oh, I lost the balls there. So at some point I'm going to need to start organizing the track. There's a lot of track 
on this shelf. I'm just going to put this here for now. We're going to organize all this that I need to go through and organize it. So at least I got it close. So that is the base for the, the rocket base. <laughs> There's Schmidt and Company. So I'm going to put all this stuff here. Um, and then I'm going to go through and do I need to print out a checklist. I still haven't found those other two Schmidt bricks. My list for the brick model railroader, bulkhead flat car. I want to start knocking things off the checklist for that. Also, I need to mark off what I've got for the Schmidt and Company building that I'm making, as well as the rocket base. Uh, I'm pointing over there because in relation to where I'm standing now, they're over there. So I want to get those going. So that, that's the haul. And I'm trying to put things away in an orderly fashion instead of just uh, randomly... Uh, losing them we have been making a lot of progress and we'll be doing more updates as we get more done down here in the basement as we get ready uh, to start on a lego display whether it be a city a town or whatever you want to call it just like you can say lego or lego whatever you want to say that is fine um just um have fun that's the main thing anyway thanks for watching this video i'll be back tomorrow in another different t-shirt